The head of the law firm representing three dancers suing Grammy-winning singer Lizzo said his clients are ready for trial after the artist denied claims of creating a hostile working environment, including engaging in denigrating behavior and body shaming. Lizzo on Thursday took to her social media pages, calling the accusations unbelievable and outrageous, adding the last few days were gut-wrenchingly difficult. She said the three former employees had been told their behavior was inappropriate and unprofessional before they left Lizzo's employment. Nima Ramani, one of the lawyers representing the dancers, said he was not surprised that Lizzo denied the allegations. He laid out graphic accusations from his clients and said they are prepared to prove them in court. When you're talking about uh, vaginas and dildos and bananas and dildos and bananas in vaginas and, you know, employees being asked to eat the banana and another employee, a male employee, getting naked and being whipped by one of the performers. So really sort of inappropriate conduct uh, and we intend to prove that it happened and really no one should be subject to it in any workplace environment. I was shocked. The lawsuit also alleged harassment based on sex, religion, race and disability. Rich and powerful entertainers can sometimes treat people uh, unfairly and unlawfully. And it started with the Me Too movement. It doesn't matter if it's a rich and powerful man. Um, Sometimes it's a rich and powerful woman. And they think that the law doesn't apply to them because of who they are or because of their fame and stature. And these laws are intended to protect the little guy or the little girl from really a disparity in power. Romani said the dancers are excited to tell their story publicly. In denying the accusations, Lissel wrote, I'm very open with my sexuality and expressing myself, but cannot accept or allow people to use that openness to make me out to be something I am not.